converting time. So when we're studying rates, converting time, the rates between the different units is also important. So one minute is 60 seconds. One hour is 60 minutes. A day is 24 hours. A week is seven days. We know all these. A year can be 12 months or 26 fortnights or 52 weeks or 365 days. So when we do our conversions, one of the easiest ways to do conversions is by starting with writing the rate of comparison between years and weeks. So convert 2.5 years into weeks. So we write a year is 52 weeks. Write the thing that we know, 2.5 years, under the same unit. So since I put years over here, I'm going to write 2.5 years over here. And then I find the easiest way to deal with this is to go, here's the side where I know something. I want to go to the side where I don't know something. When I went from one year to 52 weeks, that's a much bigger number. One times this number, times 52, one times 52 will get me 52 weeks. And so if I do 2.5 years times 52, and I know it's 52 because of this rate, then 2.5 times 52, 2.5 years is 130 weeks. So that makes things quite easy. It shows us that I need to multiply. If I'm converting hours into minutes or minutes into hours, in fact, I'm going to do an extra question in here as well. So convert 3.5 hours into minutes. Hours and minutes, the relationship, one hour is 60 minutes. Underneath the same unit that I know, so I know I've got 3.5 hours, so I'm going to write this under the hours. Then I want to go from the side where I know stuff to the side where I don't know stuff. So I would go on this way. How did I get from 1 to 60? Well, I multiplied by 60. So I need to do times 60 here as well. 3.5 times 60, 210 minutes. Sometimes we'll get questions where we're dividing. And this really helps us here too. So I'm actually just going to scoot down to the bottom and write an extra question because I will come back to this one. Convert 47 months into years. Check the relationship between years and months. and write that relationship. Now, 47 months, I've got months over here. 47 months. So remember, I want to go from the side where I know something to the side where I don't. How do I get from 12 to 1? It's always going to involve this number. To go from 12 to 1, I would have divided by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So I'm going to need to divide by 12 here as well. 47 divided by 12. So 3.916 repeater, 3.92 years. Now, it can also be much more helpful to represent Instead of just as 3.92 years, 0.92 years doesn't make much sense. Maybe we'd prefer years and months. I can see I've got three years. Three 
Now that 0.92 years, you want to change that back into months. To go from months to years, I divided by 12. So I'm just going to take away the 3. I know I've got 3 years. Just take away 3, minus 3. Now I've got this 0.91, lots of numbers, months or years. I want to times that by 12 to get that to 11 months. Or, of course, what you could do is go, well, 47 months, 3 years would be how many months? 3 times 12, 36 months. And I could just check how many extra months I had to get up to 47. Now, sometimes we've got a similar problem with time. We've got 3.5 hours here, and I might want that as hours and minutes. Now, I gave you a really easy one because half an hour, 0.5, is 30 minutes. So we could just answer this, 3 hours, 30 minutes. But the reason I gave us an easy one is so we can see how to do this. Because that 0.5 hours needs to be changed into minutes. The three hours were fine. 0.5 into minutes. So we can just do one hour is 60 minutes. 0.5 hours and then do the same thing. I'm going to have to go from where I know it to where I don't know it times by 60 to go from 1 to 60 times 60. So I'll do this times 60 as well. 0.5 times 60, 30 minutes. Another way that you can do it is there's a sneaky button on the calculator. It's meant for degrees. Remember there's 60, uh, it's meant for degrees, and you'll learn about degrees and minutes and stuff later. But it does work for hours and minutes, or minutes and seconds, which is really cute. 3.5 hours. Use this angle key there, second function, angle. Scroll down till we get, oh, there it was, to DMS. Enter, enter, 3.30. 3 hours, 30 minutes. And it works for anything that's got the 60 relationship. So it works for going hours to minutes and minutes to seconds. So it's a little extra sneaky one, but you can always just do your working.